Hello everyone, this is the Films of Ben C Entertainment with a movie review of Pogasari from 1985. Well, actually, this is a redo of a movie review I did in the past, but I wanted to redo it because of my uh, recording. You've seen that recording, I mean, you've at least heard it, and please don't mind that one, I'm going to redo it right now. Okay, let's start with the history of this film. There was once a South Korean movie director named Shin Sang Ok who was kidnapped by Kim Jong Il, a future dictator of North Korea. Kim Jong Il forced him and his ex wife to make films, and one such film was Pogasari. Now, I'll talk about the plot first, but there's other things I wanted to talk about as well. The plot consists of medieval Korea, where a tyrant king tries to take over a village. And that said village uses a monster doll to destroy said tyrant king. But then the aforementioned Pogasari doll monster almost destroys absolutely everyone in his own village it was meant to protect and that's pretty much the whole movie now the one thing that should be taken note of is that Kim Jong-il was a Godzilla fan and he really wanted this director Shin Sang Oak to make a Godzilla film for him because he was a big fan of Godzilla in fact he kidnapped not really kidnapped but he actually tricked Toho film crew to really be part of his production, the Pogasari production. So, for Pogasari, the adult version, he actually managed to get Kimpachiro Satsuma to play Pogasari. And I actually met this guy at a con once. There's a picture. And for a tiny Pogasari, he got Manila, yes, Masao, Little Man Meichan, Fukuzawa, to play Little Pogasari. But there's also something else I wanted to really mention was not just Paul Gasari, but my own personal uh, experience researching this film was that I personally feel, besides just researching it, was that, well, it's going to be hard to explain, but please bear with me. I am mainly using this film just to do research on what these leaders are thinking, Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un. Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin. Speaking of Xi Jinping, I was hacked a few years ago, probably less than a few years ago, and they said I was hacked. I was. Seriously. I don't have the emails anymore, but they said that if I didn't pay this amount of money, I don't know if they were criminals or not, if I didn't pay this much money, they would continue to have my account be watched over by people from China. Now, these aren't just people. They're the government. I'm not talking about the citizens. I'm talking about the government themselves from China. That's what they claim themselves to be. I'm not sure if they were just scammers or whatnot. But this is true crap that I was experiencing. Now on Vladimir Putin. He's causing this war in Ukraine. Because he wants to resurrect the Soviet Union. And that's a really bad thing. Because even after we had this huge pandemic worldwide. We finally have a much worse issue. In my opinion. Because of what's what's been going on beforehand because we've all been infected by COVID and finally a much worse thing happens because of Vladimir Putin. Now here's what we could do with all these leaders if we could. Get them out of office if we can. Try to give them help not support like you give a president support but try to give them mental health. Give them medicine and even try to Seek their motives and why they want to be ruling a country and soon the world. Because even some presidents like Xi Jinping like saying that. Even claiming that. Even trying to do that. Which is scary. So I really want to know why myself. What their motive is. Why they want to do it. I even want to try and make them into good people. Which sounds kind of strange. Because I personally feel like as a bad person myself sometimes. I relate to them. Not because of their how good they try to be. Which they really aren't. How terrible they are. And I feel like I'm terrible myself at times. I'm not I'm not kidding. I'm I really really
put a beating on people. I'm serious. I'm not just mentally, but physically. This is a real thing. I really, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I really apologize for all the people I, I put a beating on. Why do you think I say beating? Because that's the really real thing I've done. But I'm really sorry if I, if I, not only if that I have done all that to all those people. Without getting off topic, Pogasari is only a good movie if you can look at it from the monster movie side. And what the leaders of those countries that I mentioned try to do something about the world. Please try.